Hello, I am Eric Aldrich, and welcome to Lit 225 here at Pima Community College. Uh, the subject of this course is science fiction. Um, what I wanted to do here today in my first uh, video for the course is just introduce what we'll be doing um, and some of the concepts of the course, go over the expectations and requirements, and um, tell you what to, you need to do to get started. Um, so first, I'll just say that I'm going to make a series of these short videos uh, as we go along. Um, I kind of just do them in one shot, and so um, if I mess up or a cat intrudes or something, I'm just going to keep going. Um, so just to get started, when you uh, enroll in the course, you'll see that the D2L shell will open up a couple days before the course starts. Uh, if you're watching this, presumably you've already been uh, to the D2L shell. So what I would suggest you start by doing is just review the shell. Look around, make sure you understand how to find things. Um, it's pretty basic. I have the folders listed um, weekly and daily by assignment. So you click on the weekly folder and you open it up and both the daily assignments are in there. Um, I frequently post things to the news section that I think are interesting. Um, I also have files uh, to the left of the shell there that um, link you to online resources for science fiction stuff and things that I uh, think might be interesting. I've decided for this course that I'm going to be sort of generous with how I link things and uh, just put a lot of stuff in there that I think you might be interested in. I really want you to get the feeling that this is a way for you to explore science fiction um, and what it means to you as well as you know read a few stories that I think are representative of some important movements and ideas within the genre. Um, so the course is designed to make you find what you think is interesting in science fiction uh, by exposing you to a wide variety of uh, subcultures, subgenres, and tenets of the genre of science fiction. Um, the way the course runs is very simple. Um, it's a summer course and I want it to be enjoyable, so I'm not making the uh, requirements onerous. It's very simple. Monday, you have an assignment due by midnight. That assignment is something to do with science fiction culture um, and takes less preparation than the assignment that you have due on Thursday at midnight. Um, it's the same times, the same due dates, all eight weeks, uh, it doesn't change. And so every Monday you'll have an assignment that'll ask you to explore something about science fiction culture, right? have you write a short story of your own, uh, we talk about movies, we talk about journals and publishing. And so for that day, you, the assignment will be uh, fairly self-contained. The other day is where we're going to talk about the literature, talk about the stories. Um, and so on those days, you'll be asked to respond to one of the stories. Um, usually, they can be found right here in the textbook for the course, um, which is Science Fiction Stories in Context by Heather Mossery. Buying this book is a great deal. I think I saw it for 20 bucks on Amazon. Uh, compared to most anthologies for a lot of classes, um, you can't get one that cheap. And so I think it's because you can get this used pretty, pretty easily and it's not revised very often. Uh, so you can use used copies easily enough. I do have some of the stories linked to the D2L shell because they're published online. Um, and so you can uh, read those as well, but most of the stories, I think for most of them you'll have to have um, the science fiction uh, stories and context textbook. Um, in terms of attendance and work requirement, the way attendance works in all the online courses I've ever taught is you uh, do your work by the time that is required, which is always Monday and Thursday by midnight, and then you are counted there. So I, in my attendance, I will say this person has attended. Um, if for some reason you miss the deadline, I will say what you should do is still do the work, still do the post, go in there and, and write what you want to say. Um, if you don't do it on time, I can't give you points for attendance, but I still want to hear what you have to say. I'm still interested in having you participate in the conversation, and I don't, uh, you know, go and start commenting on everything exactly the next day at 8 o'clock in the morning or anything. 
So you can uh, have a little bit of uh, leeway in terms of getting it done, but you ha in terms of being there for attendance purposes, you have to post by Monday and Thursday by midnight. Um, the assignments are usually pretty routine um, in terms of their format, but not their content. So most of them are going to be posted to a discussion board. Um, if you are going to write a response, it's usually about 250 to 500 words, which is one to two double-spaced pages in Microsoft Word. Um, that's what the word requirements are, that's what the length requirements are. I'm not really interested in seeing one sentence responses. That won't get you uh, credit for having done the assignment because you don't really learn anything by doing that. The, you doing the assignment forces you to think through the story, forces you to think through the process. And um, by going through that process, you'll have a meaningful interaction with the thing that you're studying. Just opening the shell and writing a sentence for me to get an attendance point is sort of a waste of time, and um, I recognize it as such. So take the time with this. Like I said, the work requirement's not too heavy for a course, and it's supposed to be uh, interactive and, and kind of fun. Um, I do welcome uh, video responses, or um, you know, you just set up your webcam and record yourself like I'm doing now. And you can post that um, as well. I'm not sure exactly how you do that on the discussion board on D2L, but I'm sure you could just post it as an attachment, um, and then we could watch it that way. Um, so I think for the most part, everything else is on the syllabus. If you check out the syllabus, you'll see that um, the best way to get in touch with me is my email address. It's uh, E. Aldrich, my first initial and my last name at pima.edu. Um, if you email me, give me at least 24 to 48 hours to respond. Uh, it is the summertime and sometimes uh, we'll all be up to some different things. And don't expect a response on the weekend. I do try to respond on the weekend, but sometimes uh, I'm not available. So if you email me Friday night at 9 o'clock, uh, you might get an email back Monday morning at 9 o'clock. Um, so that's, that's in terms of getting in touch with me. I would prefer that you use the Pima email to the D2L email, but I do check both of them. I don't know why they don't talk to each other, but they don't. Um, if you email me in D2L, it doesn't go to my Pima email address. Um, so I think that that probably hits most of the points. Just read the syllabus, uh, the, the grading, all those things. Those are all outlined on the syllabus. Um, the assignments are put in order on the syllabus, but they're also organized in order on the D2L page. Um, so it's fairly easy to follow. I look forward to getting to know you, and so that is why your first assignment uh, for the course is to go on to D2L, and under the Week 1 tab, um, you'll see that there's a discussion board that says, Who are you? And how you would like to respond to that is up to you. I'm looking for creative and interesting responses, but also things that might give me some information about what you're interested in, um, what makes you uh, fascinated by science fiction, why you took the course. Um, and if I get to know you a little bit, then maybe I can have an opportunity to shoot you some suggestions to things that might interest you throughout the semester. Um, so take a little time, tell me who you are, and I'll be reading that soon. Welcome to the course.